man, watching that first half, I thought, oh, El Cholo digging down, Cholismo pride. They've <laughs> yeah. done it and they've tied them up. They hit the post and everything. And then Zidane makes his changes at halftime and boom. And you did wonder at halftime, who's going to move first between the two? Because like you said, Cholo had no reason to change anything really because that first half was for what he wanted from his team, quite convincing. On the other hand, for Zidane, being at the Bernabeu, like you said, being in that title race with Barcelona, they just could not afford to keep the same way. And he was clearly not happy about what he saw well, in the first half. So, well, it, well, let's tell people what he saw in the first half because he, he, okay, he played no that Eden Hazard, five, one. no Bale, no Rodrigo, no Vinicius. Well, he was on the bench, but yeah, they, 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 from starting lineup. He played essentially five midfielders, yeah. right? And he had Valverde and Isco kind of wide and stuff. And it was almost... It's like Spanish people love the idea like, oh, he wants to control the midfield. And like, yeah, but what the hell are you going to control against Atletico Madrid? That's right? the thing. So he did that against Valencia in the, in the Super Cup, yeah. if you remember, which worked quite well. Uh, and then and then again, in a way, in, in, in the final. But clearly this was not working, like you said. They had a lot of the ball, but could Benzema was far too isolated up front. And so you expect him to make a change at halftime. Maybe not to change... Well, Isco, cool, you could see the change coming. But for Cruz, maybe you didn't think he would take Cruz off after just 45 minutes, right? He's got some stones there taking I out Tony Cruz, some yeah? Components. Yeah, and to be fair, he worked really well. Even Lucas Vasquez, who came on with Vinicius, to, mo to move back to that 4-3-3 that that team is more suited for, especially... Well, on, but this is the thing, turn. he's bringing on... I mean, I know I've made this point before, but I'm going to make it again. He was depicted as like sort of, you know, oh, he's so inspirational. He knows to talk to the superstars. He's Mr. Man Manager. You know, he doesn't complicate but which things. Which is true, which is true. That's one but of his he's showing skills. that he can actually go and read a game yeah, tactically, definitely. change the formation. And look, it's not like it's, it's, it's not like he sent on like, you know, Garincha and, 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 and Ronaldo. Uh, he sent on freaking Lucas Vasquez and Vinicius, which basically probably at this, uh, this stage, maybe like, what, fifth and sixth choice yeah, up yeah. front? And but yeah, by having those wide players moving Valverde back inside, exactly, and he gets it done. Yeah, and the change of structure made a difference. I think he was helped massively by the first change that Simeone made for Atleti, which I still am struggling to understand, and maybe you can help, but taking Morata off, who was the kind of lone striker, if you want. I mean, Vitolo played almost with him, but Vitolo is not a, a proper centre-forward like Morata No, is. he's not. And replacing Morata by Lema, isn't that a sign of of you add even more negativity to your player already? And you said, well, you know what, we're going to sit even deeper and just keep that nil-nil. All right, so, so a couple of things. It was so the 50th minute. He was without, he was without obviously, Jao Felix and, and Coque. So his options were going to be more limited anyway, right? So... I think that was a moment where he's like, okay, now we pack it in. I'm going to add Lamar. Maybe he can hold the ball. Maybe he can he can find something for, for Correa or, or, or Vitolo on the break. Maybe we'll get a set piece. But I think this is the maybe the biggest difference from the Atletico of yesteryear. Did it always feel in the past that when Atletico were awful and defensive and everything, you would get like a set piece and Godin yeah. or Raul yeah. Garcia or, or Jimenez, somebody yeah. would, would pop up and do something? Now... It's a lot tougher. It's not going to happen. And, you know, even in terms of, of matchups against those center backs, Correa and Vitolo are going to struggle. Yeah. You definitely. know, especially on, on the break one on one because Real Madrid actually defend really, really yeah, well. They did. It and often then, gets overlooked. Yeah. Maybe Morata was a bit injured. Maybe there was something else. And, you know, he was forced to make that change because I still don't really. He's not one for making early changes like that, especially in a game where he. It controlled quite well in the first half. So maybe there was something else. And yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe the, the lack of depth of squad in that game cost him as well. But you still have a feeling watching that second half that it's really the end of an era for him there. I mean, I don't know. I know they spend a lot of money on players. They've got young players still, but I don't know. And on the other hand, you could see Zidane, who's clearly improved massively as a manager compared to even his first, well, his first spell only, but the first season of that first spell where he was making some mistakes tactically in games. I remember one at Betis, for example, where he got it completely wrong at the start and also during the game. And now he has this ability to change games halfway through, which I think that, is an incredible asset. That's what I love because when I'm see, Real Madrid's still packed with superstars, of course, but not to the level they were at before. And there is an argument to be made. It's the old Ancelotti argument that when you have much better players than your opponents, don't screw things up. Just, you know, yeah. make sure they're happy when they go on the pitch and let them do their yeah, thing. Yeah. But he's not in that position now. 
because you know Vinicius, Lucas, these are a lot of these guys are pretty one dimensional. Isco yeah. isn't back to where he was, so yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, well done him for for, for getting involved. 